The Terra Luna debacle still continues as nobody really knows exactly what will happen from here. The founder, Du Quan, has proposed a fork. The overall community is highly against it. What is going on? Talking about some of the news here on Terra Luna and more about this very interesting cryptocurrency that went from $120 down to less than a penny in just a few days. Breaking it all down right here in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. Well, what's going on, guys? Patrick back here today to talk about Terra Luna. What is going on? We started covering the Terra Luna debacle last week on Friday. I ended up buying the dip at the 0 .00006 level. And, well, I ended up locking in some profit as it squeezed higher. And right now, I still own, I think, around like 1.2 million Terra Luna total. And I'll just kind of hold those forever. And we'll just kind of let that one ride. I'm not that worried about it at this point. So, the news about Terra Luna, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of questions. You know, the problem is Terra Luna has a massive float now, a massive amount of supply that is out there with I think like six or seven trillion total coins out there, going from a relatively small supply to now a trillion, trillion, trillion supply. That's a big deal. And obviously the community, after the big debacle with the UST losing the overall value, the community wants answers and the community wants to move forward. The thing here is a lot of the people that bought recently, that bought on the dip, obviously are screaming for one answer and that is to burn. They wanna reduce the supply and that would make their holdings more valuable here in the future and then you have the people that owned terra luna at the 120 dollars level you know they want to be reimbursed somehow they want their money back from the meltdown here on terra luna you can see here pulling up the terra luna chart this point zero 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 one eight level has been kind of holding as support for the last you know like i'd say what 24 hours maybe like two days almost this point zero zero two area has been holding as as somewhat of a support area we had this big squeeze back up this thing kind of bounced when the news came out when du Quan came out saying that he was working on a fork and working on a way to solve the problem if you go back you know back last friday may 13th the price of terra luna was 0 .00 zero 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 one there was yeah a lot of zeros there he had a big spike up and then recently just been selling off but right now kind of consolidating at this point zero 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 two area and it'll be interesting to see what happens obviously if you look at terra luna back there in april it was trading around 120 dollars, and today it's trading for you know less than a penny at this point so Pretty insane move. Now, as we go through some of the news recently, they talk about here Terraform Labs legal team resigned after the UST collapse, which is very interesting because the in-house legal team at Terraform Labs resigned after the collapse of Terra stablecoin that brought havoc to the cryptocurrency market. The spokesperson for the company said that the past week has been challenging for Terraform Labs and a small number of members resigned in recent days. The vast majority of team members remain steady committed to carrying out the project's mission terra is more than ust with an incredibly passionate community and a clear vision on how to rebuild our focus is now on executing our plan to revive the terra ecosystem so that's kind of been the overall mantra you know that the ust the peg the dollar ust is not you know exactly it isn't what terra terra luna is you know i, I guess you know, it was pegged at a dollar based on Terra on Luna. But in general, you know, the overall community, the developers are saying that the UST is not the only thing that Terra Luna is. So you can see here, Duquan, they talked about wanting to do the fork. Um, Duquan said that the UST peg failure is Terra's DAO's hack moment, a chance to rise up anew from the ashes. They also talked about the idea that the current Terra Luna that is out there, the blockchain that exists today, would be called Terra Classic. We've seen that with Ethereum. This happened, I wouldn't say exactly happened with Ethereum, but Ethereum forked a long time ago and you had Ethereum Classic and then you had Ethereum, the new Ethereum. Or It has been done before. They've forked chains before and they've basically gotten rid of the old chain or they've turned the old chain into 
a classic version. So that'll be kind of interesting. And you can see here, you know, they talk about the idea of basically giving 10% of the total. There'd be about a billion total. So the idea here is to create 1 billion Luna as the new Luna, Luna 2.0. Quan proposed that a quarter of those tokens would go to a community pool on the 4chain controlled by stake governance, 5% to developers, 35% to wallets that held Luna prior to the attack, and then 10% to the Luna holders at the launch of the new chain, and 25% to the UST holders on a vesting schedule. And he said the proposal will go up um, for vote on May 18th. And Quan talked about it on Twitter a few more times. But like I said earlier, the overall community seems to be very dead set against the idea of the fork proposal. You know, they talked about the majority of the Terra community is against the idea of forking the blockchain, creating a new Terra 2.0 and leaving the classic Terra. They don't want that to happen. 90% of the thousand votes on the online poll rejected the fork to create a new parallel version of the Terra blockchain. So it really seems like the majority of the community, the majority of the holders of Terra Luna do not want a fork, that no one wants a fork. Also, Binance's CEO came out saying that this won't work. Forking does not give new fork any value. That's wishful thinking. He added that the Terra community should reduce the supply of Luna by burning coins rather than forking the network at a date in the past, abandoning anyone who tried to save the coin during its downfall. And, you know, that's kind of been the big speculation on Twitter and the big argument now. You know, what do you do? How do you even do a burn at this point? Like, is there enough money to do a burn here? and vice versa. So there's a lot of questions and no one really knows exactly what will happen from here if Terra Luna can come out from the ashes to rise again. So many questions, so little time. You know, looking here at the chart, this consolidation I would say is is good consolidation. At least it's holding this level now. I mean, it's been holding for quite some time, you know, for at least, you know, a couple of days now kind of holding this level. We've got resistance, you know, coming up there at that 0 0.0028. And then after that, you're running up to like that 0 0.0004 area as resistance. So there's obviously resistance as this pushes up, but really, you know, it comes down to having one big news. If they talk about actually confirming that they're going to do a burn, if they actually come out with some type of real moving information that can make this move, well, that could really get some big stuff going. You can see just the other day, you know, from the 0.15 area to almost like point uh you know zero 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 two five so a big move when that news came out on twitter so this coin can move it can get moving it can you know create some fomo if the news comes out but the question is what will the news be so like i said before a lot of the people that bought terra luna recently obviously want to do a burn they want to reduce the supply here the problem is how do they exactly do that how do they reduce the supply? How do they reduce the supply when they've already spent a lot of the reserves trying to fix UST when it was collapsing? It'll be interesting to see kind of where this ends up. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of volatility and a lot of action, I would say, you know, as this all unfolds. And again, you know, no one really knows exactly what will happen from here. There's the two different mindsets, the idea of the fork, and then the idea of continuing on while doing a burn. I've seen a couple of people talking about doing a transaction burn. So every time a transaction happens, that burns. But I mean, you've got so many coins at this point, it really would take a massive amount of supply burn to get this coin, you know, really moving again. So a lot of questions, a lot of no answers, you know, a lot of questions. And not a, not a lot of answers. So we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah.